All right, praise the Lord. It's good to be here tonight. Yeah, yeah, Amen. yeah, yeah. It's Bless. for part two yes, of yes. the wind of God. Well, that's the song that's playing at the point, and we don't own the rights to the song. Yeah, but yes. this song right here, I was just talking to a sister right before uh tonight's show, and I was just telling her how much this song has carried me. Yes. In the storms that I've been in, Amen. So Amen. it's Amen. one I let me turn it down because I don't want Facebook to get us. <laughs> Listen, uh, I love the lyrics of that song. It yes. says that the wind, wind of, of God, God is blowing mm. in my direction, my way, mm. my way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what? And especially this last year, we had been through so many trials and tribulations and on tonight i know that this is going to bless somebody tonight because god allowed us to go to through those things for mm -hmm. us to be able to see how to help yeah. someone else yeah. in the middle of the storm you know that's what we talked about and we continue that discussion now thank you for allowing me to be a part of that discussion oh, on all that. Eyes clear. That. oh it, well listen it's what it is what it is and so I'm so glad, but you know, we talked about that this is always it always seemed like it's darkest before, before the, the dawn. dawn. And, and it really, family, we need to embrace this because it uh if you have gotten to that dark place, you know, where it seems you can't see your way out, yeah. chances are you are at your breakthrough. Yeah, you in the forest mm -hmm. and in the trees. Mm -hmm. <laughs> listen, listen, you are. You are in the last quarter. You Hallelujah. Are about, Hallelujah. To get that uh, winning touchdown or uh, winning field goal, whatever the case is, the whole thing is hang in there. Hang in you there. You have been through this much. Don't give up now. And so uh, oh. please, please remember. Amen. Watch God rush in and, when, when it, it seems, seems the darkest. darkest. Yes, Come he, on now. He always. Do he yes, he does. Do. Good evening. I'm excited evening. to listen. Well, I tell you what, you your trials and tribulations help you, and you help other. God knows yeah. what he's doing. Yes, don't he, he know what he's he doing? Right. He Nobody want to be in a part of a trial, but you're gonna learn tonight that sometimes the Lord allow us to go through that mm. so that he, he especially when we, Lord, I want to grow. Lord, I want you to make me better. Lord, I want you to use me. Lord, I want you to take me to the nations. Well, he says, okay, if you want all of that, yeah, you got to be ready. You know, I was just listening to some uh, on top of me talks about, we ask God for all of these things. And uh, he said, we ask for God for certain things, but mm -hmm. God don't always give it the way. He said, I want you know, patience. And, and it, it was <laughs> Harry said, well, uh, God just don't zap patience. Then he gives you an opportunity to, to develop be, it, to be patient. Yeah. Yes. And so when you, uh, uh, when you say, okay, I want it now, God give you an opportunity to be uh, faithful. God, I, you know, I want to, uh, uh, be, uh, you know, not fearful, be more courageous. Well, God will give you opportunity yes, he will. to act in a courageous way. And so uh listen, trust God. Trust God. In the middle of the storm, mm, trust yes. 
God. So Amen. we're just going to go ahead and get started on tonight. And I'm so glad you are here. Bless you know you. what? That looks pretty good, but I think we're supposed to be right there. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. We have to remember that whatever we ask God for, we should also ask to be prepared. prepared. Amen. Amen. That's a good Absolutely. word right there, brother. That's Absolutely. a good word. Absolutely. Be prepared. Hair. So this is part two. Yes. It's the darkest before the dawn. Yes. And we use this scenario because we are out in nature a lot. And mm -hmm. sometimes it looks like, you know, when the sun is getting ready to go down, if you don't know where you're going and you don't have any lights out in the woods, you're going to be in trouble. <laughs> yes, yes. And just when the sun is getting ready to come back up, you know, it. We, we've been out camping. And uh, around the campsite, yes, you come out at night, you right, you can't see, you a can't thing. see your hand, and, and it seems like you get as the, the evening wears on, it gets darker. darker. You say, Oh, I gotta get inside, and just before you know, you know it, here comes the sun, that's right. And when the sun comes up, it pushes hallelujah darkness it pushes darkness hallelujah. out of the way amen hallelujah thank amen. you sister mary when you ask god for something he will give it to you but you have to go through mm. i asked god to humble me but he took me through things as he was humbling humbling me amen. hallelujah amen. well on tonight we're going to look at some things of what god has done oh i girl where you been in our life we i knew you had a game but we've been missing Amen. you yes. it is not the same sister circle is not the same if you are not there Amen. so you tell your husband i she was on loan i've been on loan now you gotta <laughs> get back in the circle Amen. but i'm so glad we're so glad to see you on tonight so on tonight we're gonna talk about the definition of adversity. Mm. Woo! Nobody like adversity, but adversity, a state or instance of serious or continued difficulties or misfortune. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Adversity. Yes. And it's a word that most people don't like to deal with. Yes, yes. But guess what? Adversity is needed in order for us to be able to grow. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you said that it's, it's a state, uh, 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 a state or instance of serious or continuous di difficulty or misfortune. And and I, you know, I, when I'm thinking in my head, Lady Lily, is that uh, when you go through some stuff, yeah, and he said I had an adverse uh, reaction. reaction to something, uh -huh. and what you're saying that uh, uh, you something happened yes. that you wasn't expecting. Expecting. Right, and so adversity uh, could put you in the mind and said, mm, uh, "I was going along so well, and but it I, came in my life. I wasn't expecting that." No. And you tell yourself, "Where did that come from?" Yeah, that's adversity. When you <laughs> want smooth sailing, and then all of a sudden adversity Lord. hits you, and it it, it kind of blindsides you, right? Yes, it does. And it's misfortune. You know, it, it, adversity is always something negative. Uh, because when you're going straight, adversity wants you to go crooked. Mm. Uh, when you're trying to do well, adversity wants to slow you down. Adversity is something you always say, no, I didn't expect that. I didn't Any, expect that. Anybody have an I didn't expect that yes, moment? Yes, me. Listen, you <laughs> smooth sailing, but then all of a sudden, I didn't expect that. It's like that. You, they pull the rug from underneath. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I mean, where did that come from? That's adversity. Yes. Hallelujah. And how you handle adversity. Mm -hmm. That's what we're going to learn Come about tonight. Good to see you, Mama Joanne. Amen. And then, uh, hi, Lily Franks and Pastor Franks. Miss y'all. We miss Not you. feeling well, but I won't complain. I'm online. Amen. Great topic. Amen. You know what? We're covering you tonight. Amen. And I Ooh, believe we that did this. We did our way in. We're covering you. Thank you so Amen. much. And you came at the right time for us to be reminded Amen. that we need to pray. pray. We're jumping right on this. Several. I didn't expect that moment. Several. <laughs> I didn't 
didn't expect that. Amen. You know what? We all got a, I didn't Amen. expect that moment. <laughs> Amen. 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 Listen, then, we, God you bless know, we, you. Hallelujah. We, we always want to start off with, with prayer. prayer. Asking God's blessing. So let me do that real quick. Yes. Father God, you are a wonder working Yes, God. you are, God. As God, we thank you for this time together with your anointed Hallelujah. people. God, Hallelujah. Sharing a word of hope, God. Oh, we are trying to just do your will, God. Yes. Oh, God, sometimes we just need an encouraging word, an uplifting yes, word, God. God. The world wants us to keep our head down. But, Lord, you are the lifter of you our are. head. Hallelujah. And so, Father, Hallelujah. thank you for thank giving you, this God. to Lady Lily and the thank clothing you, that she has that we really, really, really need to clear our oh, head before name. we go to bed. Thank oh, you, God, the enemy want to rest in our mind. Yes. But we are in this day shaking him loose, Hallelujah. shaking him off. Whatever we have gone through, whatever we have been through, uh, we give it over to Shake you, Lord. Off. God, thank you, God, for thank delivering you, Lord. power. Thank you, God. Thank Hallelujah. you, God. When Bless we can't name, do God. too much, we still can shake, shake it off. Mm. And we're going to let go and let you have your way. Bless God, your bless name. bless everyone that's going to be on this call tonight. Oh, God, touch their heart. Touch the, what's concerning them. The bless your name, oh, Father. And, and bless this amazing woman of Aww. faith, Lady Lily Franks, God. Aww. God, Ooh, thank she, you for her joy, you, her spirit, God, her unshakable faith yes. in you to do it your way <laughs> and to follow your will. We yes, give you God. praise, honor, honor and, and glory. glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bless Amen. you. Amen. Bless you. Shake it off. Yeah. That's what we're going to do tonight. Yes. You're going to see some stuff that you're going to shake yes. off. Just even put it in your spirit, put it in the atmosphere right now. I'm shaking this off. Yeah. This is not going to stick to me. Yeah. And that's what we had to tell ourselves. I know that was what, you know what? Sometimes the trials are specific and it's on an assignment mm. and it has your name on it. And last year had some assignment names with me on it. But you know what? Just like you just said, and I appreciate that, is that God said, either you're going to allow this to attach to you yes. or you're going to shake Take this thing off. off. Come on now. So I thank you. That That's blessed it. me. I, look, look, I, look. Everybody got that? Shake it off. I'm shaking it off. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise God. Shaking it off. Yes. Shaking it off. Thank yes. you, Lord, in advance. Nothing yes. that is not supposed to um be attached be yeah. attached to me in my winning season yes. i'm cutting it off yeah it's gotta go yeah. i can't keep it yeah praise god hallelujah so the thing that we have to you gotta listen up to this remember the word of god this bless me Come it bless me it bless me and i i remembered it but it was like when we said let's do part two of next week Mm -hmm. This right here touched my heart in such a, a magnificent way. It's Proverbs 24 and 10. Get your Bible, put it in the highlight it, write it on a, a sticky note and just keep look. I keep sticky notes right here by my desk because I know there are times that God says, I want you to hide that in your heart. Yeah. So I write it down. Yeah. But this one right here, it says that if thou faint mm. in the day of adversity yeah thy strength yeah. is small mm. Ah, mm. Ah, ah. okay number two number two says different version yeah NIV. different version if i falter yes in my it, time of trouble how, how small, small is your strength yeah lord oh, this is just putting it right in yeah, your face it, it is if, and let me say not i it, it's it, it's 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 Pointing the finger at every one of us. Is yes. That, if, if you falter, yes, in a time of trouble, how small is your is your strength? strength. Mm, mm, mm. And the last one is if you fail mm, under, under pressure, because <laughs> mm. we all got pressure, right? That's right. But it says if you fail under pressure, yeah. your strength is too small. Mm. Ah! Listen, listen, those three renditions Hallelujah. of the same passage of scripture. The first one comes out of the King James Version, yes. the NIV version, the second one, and that third one is the New Living Testament. And so, uh, but I love I love how it says that, Lady Lily, because that first one said, 
if thou faint. And you know what faint means. If if you give up, you throw in the towel uh, in the day of birth. Lady really shared with you what adversity was. It, it's that thing that said, I didn't expect that. And you know, and you you talk <laughs> about who you are and how you can handle it. You know, I'm no you don't know who I am, but then when the day of adversity Woo! comes. And then you listen, and you uh, you fainting and you giving up. Listen, the word of God said you need to take a look in the mirror. Huh. You ain't all of that. You right. ain't all what you thought you were. It's time to get put in some work. You know what? And I looked at it as if when I read this scripture for the first time, I was going through a, a mighty big storm myself. And the thing that I kept telling myself is, Lily, Lily, this is not the season to faint. Mm, yeah. This is not the season for you to fall out and have a temper tantrum, even though it felt like everything was being piled from head to toe. Yeah. Felt like I was just in a trial where I couldn't see my way through. And then, you know, it's one thing when the affliction comes on loved ones and, and uh, people that you know, then it's another thing when it comes a little bit close, but then it's a big thing when it comes and hits you. Yeah. yeah All right. Yeah. So it's almost as if it says, okay, over here, let's see if this is going to affect you. And then you're like, yeah, it's affecting her. It's affecting her. Mm -hmm. But let me put it a little bit closer. Let me put it on her mama. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's affecting her. But then let me serve it to her on a silver platter myself. And when he served it to me, yeah. Then it was where the Lord said, you cannot faint in this season. Yeah. You must be strong. Now, where does my strength come? Not from me, mm. not from him, mm. not from my children or my parents or anybody. It comes from the Lord. Yeah. Remember, he says, for the joy of the Lord say it. It is, is our strength. strength. Yeah. Woo! is my Amen. strength and so i praise god look at look at what it says i'm shaking it off all Man, matters of, of evil that, that may come, come upon, upon me. me Amen. got to you got to if i put my trust and, and faith in god he will take you through these trials. trials. If you, I'm sorry, I've put made it personal. These setbacks make your faith stronger. Amen. We all are a work, work in, in progress. progress. You better say that. Yes, yes, yes. That. I'm saving this scripture. <laughs> there you go, first lady. You go ahead, bless girl. You, bless save you. it. Save it. And this is shouting time because yeah. the devil just the devil. You can give devil the devil notice tonight. I'm yeah. gonna get my healing. Yes. I'm gonna be delivered. Yes. And I'm gonna be set free. Say that now. Hallelujah. Say Hallelujah. That. And this was Job faced adversity and loses his family. Yes. Well, help. But look, look how, how God, God set, set him he, in and blessed, blessed him. him. Like set him up and blessed him. Yes, yes he, he did. did. <laughs> <laughs> look, he said, amen, say that. <laughs> so this scripture right here, this is for others to be able to say. And if you see somebody that you know and you love them and you know who they are and it feels like they're getting ready to faint, Go over there and tell them, baby, you can't faint right now. God is going to give you the strength to endure. And listen, listen, this is this is a uh, a direct uh, uh, a quote to the to that saved saint that that saint that's you know been on the battlefield for a long time, but then you know they they only want to be serving God when yeah, things when it's are good, good. <laughs> and and when it gets bad, then they started you know they started to pull back, you know. <laughs> And you got and look, God has put every safe saint you know, everyone that's been on the battlefield for a long time, talk about your strength, how joy and all the joy of the Lord. But every but mm. every little bitty thing trips you up. Here's a, the uh fact of the night. I say if you faint, look, look, in the day of your adversity, your strength uh, mm. is small. Look, don't get mad at us, don't get mad at me, don't get mad at Lady Lily. Uh, this is the word of God. Thank you for putting that up. Proverbs, the 24th and 10th verse. Ooh, that's the that's, that's a, from God. That's, Listen, we need to strengthen ourselves. In How the do Lord. you strengthen? That's right. How do you strengthen ourselves? We're going to get to that. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So we got to look at it this way. God is saying this. Romans 10 and 17. Mm. Now, now, listen, my husband will tell you when he's preaching. Now, 
we met when we were 15 years old okay and we met on a track team he used to bring my brother home from track practice i did not know that he liked me but i liked his walk Mm. i liked his walk I, I watched to show him. her I liked the book. Yeah, but but the thing of it is that it wasn't time. Right. See, That's God right. had to show, like he was trying to show me. Yes. He said, he who finds a wife. Yes. The Lord had to show me he was the one. You see what I'm saying? And so, but I liked his walk. Mm. I saw him the first day that we were on a track practice, on a track and field. I saw him. But God said, stay focused. Mm. I got plans for you, girl. I want you to accomplish some things. So he could not get me off the rail because me and the Lord, woo, we had a walk together. And yeah. I did not want anything to distract me. So it wasn't that I, I didn't notice him. I did. But I loved his Thank walk. You. Kick out your feet this transparent. I was stretching, y'all. I was trying to work out. And she came on the track, riding around track. It knocked me off my focus. I, I said, ooh, that's going to be my wife. That's what I said. And then God put it in my heart. You're going to have to work to get her. I did. It took me eight years to work her down. But after eight years, because God said, he who finds a wife, she was wifey material before we had. She Aww. was 15. I already, already noticed that. Bless the Lord. And it was your walk. It was your character. And you weren't hearing all that kind of stuff. And that drew me even more. And I was now I was focused. I'm gonna be somebody. Hey, that's what I, I was got saying. something to work for now. And here I am. Hallelujah. And I ain't gonna let you go. Well, anyway. You can't get rid of me now. <laughs> it's too late. It's too late. You that's got right. me, y'all. That's oh, look right. at this. What a blessing. I'm so glad to see you tonight. Y'all are in the Sunday oh. school lesson. <laughs> <laughs> and God, look. we we said. I may be, but I will not break. You better say that, mother. I, I am with God, God all, all the way. way. Yeah. So Romans 10 and 17. What did it say? Oh, my goodness. This is one. So I did not know that I would be marrying a minister. I did not know I would be marrying a pastor. But I should have known because when we really start dating, our dates is when he would ask me to go to church with him. He would pick me up on Sunday morning from my mama's house Mm -hmm. and would take me to church. And I learned something about this scripture. This scripture I held in my heart because I wasn't I wasn't raised in church. So with him, I would watch his walk. I was like, okay, let me see if it's if it's legit. Mm -hmm. You know, if if he's really who he said, because I don't want to walk two different ways. I want to walk straight. Yeah. So I watched it. But this scripture right here. Faith, so then faith comes by hearing and hearing, hearing by the, the word, word of God. God. Come on now. So how can I increase my faith? Mm. Put the word in my ear. Yeah. I go to sleep on it. Yeah. I wake up to it. Yeah. I read it throughout the day. Yeah. He said, let it be a constant meditation yeah. in our lives, That's right? right. That's right. So I got the word that lives with me. And when he's preaching, anybody will tell you members are here on uh on New Salem. When he's preaching, my focus is on listening to the word of God. Yeah. I don't have no time to be distracted because I got too many things that the enemy wants to take me off Amen. track. Amen. So I thank God for the word Amen. of God that Amen. lives inside of you. So tonight, let the word do the work. <laughs> and it should do the work. And, and so you know, I was looking up, Lady Lily, some things. To, uh, it talked about adversity and uh, how successful people handle adversity. Yeah, I don't know yeah. You, but I, I pulled it up, and I wanted. Can I share just a little bit of? Because sure. some of it, some of it was. Uh, it says ten ways successful people push push through adversity, and uh, it should be ten ways spiritual people push because it, it works together, but. One of the first things, and it, I saw it talks about success, and it reminded me of you right away because mm. you do this. It says the first thing it says, find your sense of humor. Now, this woman right here, this woman right here, she has a wonderful sense, sense of, of humor, yeah. and this one does too. Amen. Hallelujah. That's 
wonderful because I love to laugh. Yes, yes. Oh my goodness. In, in, in difficult situation, you can you don't cry all the time. You know, you gotta find you gotta have a sense of humor. And so you will know if you got a sense of humor because you can you can laugh at adversity. Yes, you, you may not like it. But you know what? It ain't going to destroy you. <laughs> and let, can I tell y'all something? This is the truth, family. I, and I know um, my wife has joy in her heart. I am not telling y'all what I think about because she wakes up with joy. As a matter of fact, family, I'm telling you the truth. She, in, in, in the middle of the night, she has joy. I don't know what be going on, but someday she'll, she in the middle of the night and she'll start laughing out loud in the middle. She's sleeping. She's just a laughing. And I what the world? And so I, I lay over and I look at what the world's going on. And she just have that joy. And so uh, sometimes what, you got to laugh so you won't cry. Sometimes you got to <laughs> laugh so you won't cry. And so the first thing it said, find uh, your sense of humor. Yes. And so and then I, I'm, I'm not going to do all this. But then it said number two. Oh, you that's have, good. You know, for adversity, you got to be mentally, mentally prepared. Yeah, mentally prepared. You know, now, listen, we ain't looking for a bad time. But you got to tell yourself that I'm prepared uh, for the worst, but I'm what? looking, I'm looking for, for the, the best. best. You know, so listen, sometimes uh things slip up on us and we don't prepare for it. And so then it catches us by surprise. You know, it, it, it seems like it hits you from out of nowhere. But listen, if you're a child of God, your eyes should be open. You should yes. ask God to give you vision, insights of what's going on. If I go down this path. And then you know he's gonna lead you, but don't go into anything not being mentally prepared. Then it said, Listen, it I love this. It said, Take stock of all you've been through already. <gasps> you got to tell yourself if he brought me <laughs> over that mountain, he brought me through this valley, if he helped me over there, if he did it before, How he will do it again. Say that, lady Lily. He, he will he do, can that do it again. again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Amen. And look, look, this woman right here, hold on. This woman right here, her grandfather married us yes he did yes he did reverend sinny and yes, sister sinny the yes. pastor sinny and sister dear to Tini, our heart they are so dear because i'll never forget when we got ready to move to houston mm -hmm. we used to attend union sinai yeah. and when we got ready to move to houston he pulled us in his he office sure did. and he said to us listen Y'all are as one. Yes. And he did not play. He said, Y'all got to stick together. Yes. This, I'm putting your, my hands on y'all. Y'all going to make it. He said, Don't go. Look, and you yeah, better I, I'm not sending y'all up there as one. one. Don't you come, come back, back here as two. two. That's, what, that's what he told us. <laughs> he sure did. You know, and that blessed us. That, that is. Blessed he us. gave us a charge and he gave he us did. a mandate. He said, Listen, I ain't playing with y'all. Listen, some of us, we said, Oh, we give them an easy out when times get tough. Oh, if it don't work out, you can always do this. Yeah. Look, that divorce has never been an option. That's right. And so, no, I'm not, not in our up. way. We knew that if that wasn't, if we would have done that, there would have been a whole lot of people that we would have had to go back to and, and tell them yeah. the reason why. The people that have faith in us, that yes. stock in it, that you know, when you go, that 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 crowd that come and witness your uh, mutual your nuptials that come together they ain't they shouldn't just be people that feel in the building that ought to be people your accountability you. and your accountability people you know these are people that say listen we're watching you and i ain't listen i'm not afraid to have people have their eyes on me because it keeps me to stand tall and do what i'm supposed to do uh, yeah, so we have to remember this now we did did we have trials and tribulations oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, we didn't yeah. get rough yes. yes but you know what faith comes by hearing and mm. hearing by the word of god and then what we kept telling each other is that we're going to make it through this yes, we we're going to make this through, through this and mm. i'll never forget one time uh it was when he had cut the tip of his finger off Water was leaking from the ceiling Ooh, behind right. his head. Yeah, I don't know. And then he stuff. had two wisdom teeth this all actually the same pulled week. all in the same week. Our son is on here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But you know what? I'm looking at him and, and I'm getting ready to go to work. And, and I'm I'm just trying to keep. We had little children as well. Our sons were young. And I'm looking and I'm just, Lord, help, help, help. 
and he had gauze in his mouth and he said, me mom, me and mom, mom, baby. And I didn't know what he was saying. I said, what did you say? And he said, we mom, me and boy, boy, blah. Once he saw that water and he said, it, I said, no, you got to say it just clearer for me because I didn't know what you said. He said, we must mm, woo, yeah. be in store for a blessing. Ooh, that goes along with number five. Look what is it. number it five? Said, it said, make peace with the situation. Now is not the time to blame others for what was happening, moping around and feeling sorry for yourself. Woo! Will do you no good. No That's good. A matter of fact, matter of fact, it's only gonna make it worse. Yeah. So you got to see the good in the stuff. You got to. Yeah. Oh my! And you, thank you. And we were in store for a blessing. And Guess he, what the blessing was? Listen. We went from Houston to St. Louis. As a matter of fact, <laughs> and no, we I at that time y'all just don't. I, we got we got such a story to tell. We went from because I was working shift work overtime and all that stuff. God said, well, I'm gonna pull you out of all that stuff. You're gonna work yes. straight days, you're gonna make all the same money and more money than you were making with your regular more pay money, and, more money, more money, more money, and with your overtime. <laughs> listen, so look, there's sometimes that Trust adversity, me. listen, will push you to your blessing. Oh. That's mm. good, y'all. That's good, y'all. Okay, well, let me catch up with these quotes. Okay. They've always been like this. <laughs> That's our son. That's our, that's the when, one. when I was little, it wasn't this cool. <laughs> My dad was always tempered in ambition and righteousness. Mm. That's right. That's right. Mm. You know, pretty proud of y'all. Oh, oh bless you, you. Joe. Amen. Amen. And joy is a, a beautiful, beautiful thing. You better say that. It's thing. a beautiful Tell somebody, thing. Listen, somebody, y'all tell me, joy is a beautiful thing. Joy is a beautiful listen, thing. That's that, a good shirt, If you too. don't embrace joy, mm, look, you joy would joy embrace would get you. Misses. That's right, because joy would get you through some stuff. Yes, it will. Joy would help Hallelujah. you through adversity. Hallelujah. Yes. Joy is a beautiful thing. Yes, it is. Oh, I got chills on that. Wait a minute. Let me put that in my Amen. journal. Amen. Joy is a beautiful thing. Yeah, I'm doing that. Listen, listen. That's a TikTok listen, girl. That, we all keep talking about joy. Yeah. There's joy that I have. The you world know. didn't give it to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. That's and right. The world can't, can't take, take it, it away. away. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> you too high. <laughs> <laughs> Developing a support system yeah. that you can fall back, back on. on. You That's know what? Right. That is so true. Because when we moved back to St. Louis, where we grew up from, for a a whole year, 12 months out of the year That's right. in Houston, our church family in Houston. Yeah. They came to visit us. They did. They did. Somebody showed and up. And they was they like, we're coming to call. check on y'all. They did. They yeah. did. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's just something. So now we are we are mentors and spiritual parents to other people. And you know what? what? They did to us. We're doing what and they did to us yeah, to y'all. Yeah, we hallelujah. Forward. Hallelujah. We they didn't them. they didn't have, I mean, we had it was a a, a season of development. Yeah. You didn't have time for confusion or anything like that. It was the I felt like God told me when I came back to St. Louis, I gave you a spiritual backpack. Whenever you feel low, look in that backpack and get what you, I trained you for, or Go back to where the source was, where you got your strength from, yeah. and come back to do the assignment. You know, and that, that that's that's pretty important, family. You know, God, uh, your adversity that it, it's the time Ooh. for learning. Is look, you don't want nobody at your wedding that don't want to be there for your, your marriage. marriage. Listen, listen, people that's, that's in good. your wedding. That's listen, good. These are folks that's supposed to have your back. That's and good. listen, not to say you know all the you know the the cosign and everything. It's people that really love you. And, and want you to be successful. And want you to be successful. They want your marriage to be what God intended it to be. Yes. Yeah, yes, yeah, Lord. Yeah. Amen. God had you both then and he have has you now. Thank you, Amen. Thank That's you. good. Amen. <laughs> Sometimes adversity will push you into your blessing. Yes, it will. That's what happened. And it pushed us into the every time, every, every time. time. Yes, it, it will. will. Amen. 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 Lady Lily, we just talked about that, right? <laughs> that system support. System. support. That's right. That yeah. support that, system. We just talked that, about that. Let me get it. Let me put it like she said, we just talked about that. Right. right. 
support system. Yeah, you know, because you know, everybody that say they on your page, on your side, on your team, ain't really on your team. That's Amen. right. That's right. You got right. to have the right one because you, you got to discern that. that. You got to have plenty of people. You know, yes. it's not people that you can just gossip to. Oh, I'm mad. I'm going through. You got to have somebody that can take Lift it, you, help you, and take it to the law. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's exactly mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. We talked about it, and we talked about them being destiny helpers. Yeah, they are the ones. And I think yeah, when I think about destiny. yeah, oh, when I think God. about destiny helpers, I think about David and Jonathan. Yes, yes. Oh my goodness, I think about Mordecai and Bast and, and Esther. Yeah, Hadassah. Yes. I think about those people. Why? Because you got to have the right people in your life that mm -hmm. will help push you and not just to push you, but to help develop you yes. to the person that God is trying to get you to be. Amen. Amen. So we praise God for it. Y'all, thank y'all for joining us tonight. So Psalms 119 and 71, we got to talk about Wow. This. Wow. wow. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Some folks ain't, uh-uh, I don't know about this one, but listen, you better learn something. You're going to learn something today. Psalms, or 119, Division of Psalms, <laughs> yes. the 71st verse. And, oh boy, let me, let me read this. It said, it is good for me yeah. that I've been afflicted, that I might learn thy statutes. Oh, my goodness. It was yes, good. yes, yes, yes. So, so let's talk about that. We're going to break it down tonight. Amen. It is good good for me say it this statement challenges the natural human tendencies to yes. see suffering as purely what negative. negative that's right now i know i've been there mm. have you been there i've been there i've been there i'm like whoa what is this always happening to me Lord, I can't take it no more and here it says the psalmist which is david mm -hmm. acknowledges that while afflicted is not desirable yes. it can be for a beneficial purpose. Yeah, it know, benefits us. Yeah, you know, thank you. Know, you said it's that. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, some of us, you know, we, we have gone through for so long. We think that's what we're supposed to be. Yeah. And we and we think our destiny is bad luck. You know, right. And, and adversity and difficult chance. You know, because sometimes this thing is we need because it's going to help you. And I and I know some of y'all ain't going to have a clue about who a bad luck slip rock is, but bad luck slip rock was a person that he walked around with a cloud over his head with a cartoon character. And he always said, woe is he, woe me, <laughs> because he expected it. And but some of that stuff, you know, if it's how you look at it in this statement, it said it was good for me mm. and it goes like you said it really does yeah that, that that just goes against i know what you mean is good for me to go and have some negative things yes. and challenges and trials but i'm telling you if i didn't have any rain in my life uh, i can't grow mm, mm, mm. i cannot I, grow rain, uh, uh it, it breaks up that hard fallow ground sometimes we need some of that stuff this one is an ouch yeah <laughs> yeah and he said i'd rather be righteous through conviction mm. from those who love me yes. than unrighteous through the contempt, contempt. From, from those, those who don't. don't. Amen. Woo! Amen. That's yeah. true. Because even with David, David had he had, he had, had that affair with Bathsheba. Yeah. And God gave him an option. Mm. Nathan said, Which one would you like? Would you like the punishment of man? Mm. Or would you like the punishment of God? Yeah. And he said, wait a minute now. He probably thought thing. about that. He said, Now look, if I if I get man in that, they're gonna kill me tonight. Yeah. <laughs> But God was merciful, but he suffered. Mm. And a lot of other people suffered and died along with him because of his unrighteousness. Yes. But, you know, it, it, there's something. I, I like this when you said break it down. Why would anyone say it's good? The psalmist said it's good for me. Yeah. You know, that it was good for me. There's something that you're going to learn out of this thing. Yes. You know, whatever you're going through. There's a life lesson in it. Watch this. Look for it. Watch this. He going he gonna to teach us tonight. So let's break it down. That I have been afflicted. Mm. This refers to experiencing difficulties. Yes. Hardships. Yes. Or trials. Say it, Lady Lily. He wants us to understand. Now, 
all of these afflictions in that you're going to have these things that come your way. Mm -hmm. But what is it going to do? It's going to help us develop to be better. Amen. Amen. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm loving this. All I'm, right. I'm being blessed today. Thank Amen. you for blessing me. Amen. Amen. That's good. If I didn't have any rain in my life, I, I couldn't, couldn't grow. grow. Come on now. This some this some good teaching. Guess I'm going to have to stay up more often <laughs> on Sunday night. Come on, girl, and join us. <laughs> and when we go through trials and tribulations, it should make us stronger. stronger. Yeah, in our faith. Can, can I just deal with that? Real yes, quick? please. So put that back up there because mother just said something. I, I want y'all to admit. It said when we go through, through trials and six months, I don't want to pass that up because trials and tribulations are going to come. The thing is, we are, we're, we're praying, we're hoping that this is our desire is to go through, through it. Every time you go through whatever you're going through, you got to say, I've been there, done that. And it makes you stronger. Listen, we don't get stronger by uh, uh, not going through experience something. Listen, if I want my muscles to grow, I got to push through some yes. opposition. I got to lift some weight. And those weights, though hard and heavy, it makes me stronger. And because I've been through it, the next time I get up under that same uh, weight, guess what? I've been there. My muscles have I'm been developing. Up. My muscles have been developed and is ready for it. And guess what? When uh, you get those muscles for that help you do this thing, then you got to now not stay there. Yeah. But now put on some more weight. So ah, you bless grow. you, mm -hmm. God. Bless mm -hmm. you, Father. Mm -hmm. I pray you're getting something tonight. Ooh, that's a <laughs> that's powerful, Keon. Yeah, Amen. yeah. yeah. I hope I pray that you're getting something tonight. Yes, yes. That I may learn thy statutes. Mm, mm, mm. The psalmist sees their suffering as an opportunity. Oh my goodness. To gain a deeper understanding of God's teachings and principles. Yes. Often referred to as statues in the Bible. Mm. Isn't that good? The, 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 the operative word is, and now there's a play on the word, opportunity. Yes. You don't look at it as a negative thing. It's mm. an opportunity to gain a deeper understanding. Listen, God's taking me somewhere with this. Yes. You see, it, it, it's the way you look at it's it. It's the way you, you look at it. You got to change your mind and your thinking. Because everything that don't taste good may uh, it don't mean it's not good for you. There's sometimes medicine go ahead. that we need. Go ahead, don't talk taste to yourself. Good. I no. Know. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, and, and I'm gonna tell you, you know, they say just a spoonful of, of sugar makes the medicine go down. You don't need no sugar, just take it because it's gonna just bless take you. Take it, it's just, gonna bless you. And, and, and listen, the problem is when the medicine don't taste good. We procrastinate. Yes. We sip it a little bit. We taste it. Look, just go ahead and let it happen. Look, look, and get, look, listen, embrace what God is allowing you Hallelujah. to learn because there's a blessing in it. That's yes, right. And it's a that. blessing in, with your name on it, too. Mm. Thank y'all so much. Thank you, Lord, for trials. Lord, thank you for tribulations going through now. But I know the joy. Is coming. coming I can tell you that the joy is coming. Yes, it I, is. It, it, you know what? And you're going to develop in the middle of it. Yeah. When I go through things, I overcome in the past multiple times. Yeah. I have. I have to, to laugh, laugh at, at the, the devil, devil that he would try, try that, that again. again. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes Some, he just throws a stone out there and hope it will hit something like like a bad thought that's right hallelujah and, this, and the devil look the devil he, he ain't trying nothing new he's going back rehearsing the same old tricks and listen look if you've been there before look tricks are for you know what is it <laughs> tricks are for rabbits or <laughs> don't fall for it look keep on resisting he try to wear you out and try to wear you down but, don't but you keep on it. resistance. And go. when you go through our troubles, we should have learned something and grow closer to God. Now you can share it with others yes. so that they can grow yes. closer to God. That's what, yes. Yes. That's what All Minds Clear Help is about. Somebody. Yeah. God wants us to share his praise, not, not keep, keep it, it to ourselves. ourselves. You better say Amen. that. Amen. I'm glad to see you tonight, girl. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow.
All right. It works better when you don't delete the <laughs> don't dilute the medicine. I know what you're saying. Amen. And the word. Hallelujah. Yeah. It's not what you do, but how you do it. Mm. Hallelujah. And yes, praise God. You got to praise God in the middle of this storm. So here's the other part. This is for me. Say this is for me. This is for me. All right, here it goes. I'm growing, I'm growing through this challenge. Through my challenges. Yes, yes I'm yes. growing through challenges. God did not, if he made us, if I'm so glad that I had some people that says, no, you're going to sit down and learn this. Mm. I'm going to flunk you. You're going to flunk this class. Yes. And okay, you, you didn't learn it. You're going to flunk the class. I flunked the class. You know what they made me do? Take the class over. Guess Why? What? Because it was developing me. Yeah. It was making me better. Look, look, look. Sometimes we go, we have a test and we want to move forward. Yeah. You know. That's and, what they're doing now. Yeah. Moving a lot of kids forward. And they are not, not passing the test. Listen, but in God said, listen, you want to repeat the course? Fail the test. Guess what? If you want to go forward, you got to pass this stuff. Yeah. And sometimes we feel, you know, we don't understand why we're going over the same thing over and over again. Guess what? We have been passed the test. And so we came, God came promote you. You know, you I, listen, pass I remember, I, I remember that I failed. Can I believe it? I started school at four years old, kindergarten. Uh, and four years old, my birthday was a little bit late, but I, I, my parents thought I can do it. I did it. And so, but by the time I got to the third grade, I I, I wasn't feeling, I guess I know little kids are, and I failed the third grade. I did. They held me back. And and my brother to and your I right was, grade. Yeah, <laughs> to my right grade. I, we were graduated together. <laughs> that's and, right. That's really, and but but listen, but I have a brother, his birthday is even late. So he's a uh he's 10 no, 11 months older than I am. And so we went to school together. Jeff went forward and they held me back. Now I felt some kind of way. Guess what I did? That adversity made me get myself together. It made you work hard. I worked hard because they weren't leaving me back. And so I went, they held me back to the third grade. The next year, I not did I just pass? Yes, I did. I got a double. I called back up. <laughs> Listen, sometimes, sometimes, family. They give you double for your trouble. I don't know if they feel giving out double, but I, they, they held me back. And uh, look, I skipped that next grade. I didn't go. To, they took me right to the next grade. So listen, family, look, sometimes we go through some stuff to make us get ourselves together. And you know what? Think about this for a second. Now, hold on one second. Let me let me get Sister Trinette right quick. Trouble don't last always. I have to remind myself that God has brought me through things yeah. I didn't think I would survive. Yeah. So why would I doubt that, that he would we'll do, do it, it again? again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And guess what? I dare you to say, say that, that again. again. Amen. Amen. <laughs> this is a testimony. It is. And listen to this. So what do we, we think about fire, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. And you think about diamonds. They're made under pressure, mm, right? Pearls, right. they're made under pressure. Yeah. And God, even in the fire, when we're going through the fire of affliction, or we're going through a purifying state, we're made under pressure. Mm -hmm. And when we finished, Job said, when you have tried me, I shall. He he made a declaration. I shall come out. Let, 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 me, let, me, let me just say this real quick. Okay. The diamonds are made under pressure. Pearls are made through irritation because the mm. clam gets a rock in his mouth, you know, clam, and it irritates that clam. And so it, it creates secretion that creates that beautiful pearl. Oh, and so you. guess what? You get one under pressure and you get another one under irritation. irritation. Some of us been irritated Ooh, by Lord. some of us been under pressure for some, <laughs> but you just don't know. God is good. He's making something beautiful out of you. So. Say that again. <laughs> I dare you to say that again. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank Amen. you for Look, that. All right. All Thank right. you for that. God wants us to know yeah. this is, say it with me, this, this is, is for, for me. me. Yeah, yeah. Lord, help, help me, me appreciate my, my trials. trials. Yeah. Whatever you're going through right now, don't wish in the way. Mm. Don't try to uh, hope they go away. 
ask God in the middle, stand flat foot in the middle of that yes. storm. Look yourself in the mirror and say, God, I know you're going to help me get through this. If God brought me to it, he's going to bring me through it. That's right. That, that's you're going to help me. If God, if you if, listen, look. If you brought me to this mountain experience, then yes. give me the strength to climb. It, give right? me the strength. You know, I'm I'm not running from everything. If you with me, God, yeah. I know He would be. He's always with me. Then I know. Listen, He brought me here. That means I, as I climb this mountain of adversity, as this, this this mountain that's in my way, this obstruction. Guess what? It's going to strengthen me for something that I'm not ready to handle right now. And guess what? God's in the business of getting you ready. For your next assignment listen to this it says therefore since we have justified through faith we have peace with god mm. through our lord jesus christ yes. through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we stand and we rejoice in hope yes and hope uh, of glory of god not so but we also rejoice in suffering yes because we know that the suffering, here it is, produces perseverance. Yes. And perseverance, character. Yes. And character, hope. Yes. And hope does not disappoint us because God has poured out his love into our hearts by, by the, the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, whom he has given wow. us. That's the so word. that's the word. That's Romans, the fifth chapter. And it, it really blessed me even in my young walk as uh as a believer because we don't we want everything to be smooth yeah. and he's saying here no he said you gotta you're gonna have to you're gonna have you want some patience you're gonna have to persevere yeah you know you're gonna have to make sure that some hope is coming out of that yeah. but i don't want to I, I gotta get going because i don't want us to we gotta finish this time amen i went through cancer twice mm. but god keeps me here for a purpose he keeps you here for me mother amen because i know i love me some you amen <laughs> i do i do i thank god for you this is for me look at it from a different perspective yes and be, be humble. humble yeah look at it from don't be you know what god gonna give me through. don't 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 have an they know who i God. am i ain't supposed to have to go through this yeah. i'm i miss him and this thing i miss <laughs> you know, whatever you think you are bring it <laughs> down a little bit family amen, amen. Yeah. humble yourself hey amen. amen he said in due time Amen. You will be clearing your head. Yeah. Before you go to bed. Come on. <laughs> we thank God for you joining us tonight. I'm learning how to be timely. Amen. And that's something that I've been asking God to give me the wisdom to do because I do appreciate people's time. Whenever I do something, I want to be on time. I want to start and I want to end on time. So thank you for joining us on tonight. All Minds Clear means so much to me. It really does. It helped me in a season where when we were going through the storms and, and I felt like even with myself, am I going to be able to make it through this? Even mm. when I couldn't talk, you know, yeah. it would just hurt to talk so bad. But now I told the Lord, I, but God said to me, every time he said that I go through a trial, he said, Lily, tell me it's good that I, you are afflicted. Yeah. Why? Because I've learned God's ways. Yeah. Sometimes he said, you're talking too much. Just be quiet. Make you pray. It makes you pray. Study his word. Yes. Because you, why are you going through? And you, rest. You look for hope in his word. Yeah. God, why am I going? You start opening his word. You yes. study his word. Yes. And look for his promise yes. in his words. So, yeah, it, it's good for me that I will afflict you. Now, I, I'm studying his word. I'm studying. Yeah. I'm staying on the word. Yeah. So, yeah. God, we just thank you tonight, Lord. We thank you for yes, our special God. time with you. Yes, we ask you, oh, God, to allow your word to be hidden in our hearts and we will not sin against yes, it. God. Proverbs 24 and 10, Lord, we don't want the adversity to come in our life and we have a fainting season. Yes, God. Oh, God, let your word strengthen us tonight. Let us re be renewed. Let us rejuvenate us, dear God. Bless let us God. strengthen us, oh, yes, Father. God. Let us know that you are in total control. And we give you praise, glory, Bless and God. honor in who you are. And we thank you for everyone that's listening. We yes. thank you for those who will listen. Yes, and we thank you for all that you have done. We thank you, oh God.
for this platform as well. And I worship you for my husband. No. You could have given him to anybody else, but you thought about little old me. And God, if there's somebody that's waiting for their mate, oh God, let them wait patiently in you. Let them know, dear Father, you don't want to give them anything but the best. And so, God, I thank you that you allow you. me to be an example to let women know that if he did it for me, I'm nobody. You can do it for them, too. We have to trust you and believe yes. that you will make a way out of no way. Yes, we give God. you praise, glory, and honor for all things. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. 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 So Amen. thank you for joining us on tonight. And I want definitely want to do one more thing, too. Before you go, I, I, I just got to say this. Can you bring up one? Can you put that one screen? I love this. No. I love this family, you know, because, you know, now my my heart feels better my mind is relaxed when i lay down i can say thank you Hi, lady Lily. lily because i really want to clear my head before before i go to bed amen thank amen you. thank amen. you that blesses me you. it's stuck in my spirit but i'm not laying well, down he, with all the kind of look stuff. when i you know sometimes we just be in conversation and he'll share something and and I, I'll rebuttal. And, and when it came, clear your head before you go to bed. He was like, that's good. I said, okay. <laughs> so <laughs> spending time me. with the Lord yeah. makes a difference. And I also want to thank those ladies who came. Oh, my goodness. This woman right here gave a powerful testimony yeah. on yesterday mm. of daughters, of spiritual daughters. She has a ministry with teenagers and she gave a powerful testimony how God just blessed her to bless these yes. young mothers. And so we thank God. Amen. 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 Thank you. And, and while she's doing that, uh, I, I'm blessed to be in the uh, house yesterday and a uh, sister circle where the sisters came together and all those that was asked, they began to Pull together all of those supplies. And the ladies put together purses and back uh, book bags to give to uh, the folks that were in the. And it was a beautiful thing. It was a wonderful thing. And so, Lady Lily just wanted to say thank you thank for you. those that had donated, those who came out, those uh, book packs and those bags had to be mm -hmm. put together. And y'all all did it with love. Yes. And you encouraged one another while you were doing yes. it. Because everybody knows, we know somebody that's going through something. Yes. And so, we don't want to look down at them, but we want to be, lift, them lift them up. up. Come on now. So we were excited about that. Thank you. Thank and you. thank and thank you, everyone, for doing what God called you. It was a wonderful success. Thank you. Yes, indeed. A beautiful day. Then now she called me yesterday and said, I had a good time. So I thank you. And and listen, if you haven't been to Sister Circle, I would love to invite you to be my special guest. Yes, it is the first Saturday of the month. And we will have it in uh, April. And you just come and you will meet other sisters in the community. And it's an empowerment session. Yeah. And that's what we God told it to be. And that's what we want it to be. So God bless you. Have a wonderful night. And stay safe and sleep well in the Lord. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Remember, don't want to go to bed. <laughs> with a cluttered head. <laughs> That's a good one, too. your head before you go to bed. Amen. Love Have a you good guys. Night. Be blessed. See Bye -bye. you later.